a small video of my mini fire truck that I built. Uh, I built this thing about a year ago. I finally decided I want to put it on YouTube uh, so that people can see it. Um, it started off as a 36 volt club car, golf cart. It's still battery powered. I haven't found a donor cart to convert it to gas yet. Uh, started off by extending the uh, nose, nose area. Uh, that's all steel tubing and fiberglass to create that shape. And then I had a local uh, sign shop make the uh, graphics for me. And then I did uh, just some gold you know, pinstripe. Don't mind the hole, something hit it. And um, then I went to the back and uh, went ahead and extended the back end and did a, essentially a tandem axle so it supports a little of the weight more. Uh, the back half is made out of steel tubing as well, but it's also those panels are made out of Lexan, a uh, quarter inch Lexan, which is uh, kind of like the plexiglass, but it's the oil base product so you can hit it bang it all you want it doesn't doesn't crack doesn't break um, pretty much everything on this golf cart except for the stuff that's clearly store-bought is handmade but from down from the uh, the pump panel uh, the Halligan bar the fire extinguishers the hard suction that's all handmade uh, well, I bought the PVC pipe but uh, the back uh, the air or the booster reel started off as a like electric spool that I got and I just cut out all the little center sections to kind of give it like that older style look to it uh, in the back here I got my hose bed which actually has a uh, 150 feet of uh, inch and three-quarter line uh, that was donated to me from uh, another uh, fire department that saw the golf cart and thought I needed some hose on there so I was very grateful for that I also have some uh, fake props that go with it little you know gated wide and little extension for the pump panel I took those off because um, they hung out too far and I was afraid I was going to break them off. And then we come to this side, I have my extension ladder, my pike pole, another extinguisher, and the shovel. The extension ladder I try to get as real as I possibly can down to, you can see where I have the, you know, the two rails and then I have you know my, hall my halyard, the dogs, I try to set it up. It doesn't actually move, um, but it looks like it should. Plus it's screwed to, the, screwed to it so it doesn't fall off. Uh, the pike pole is made out of just a piece of, actually, you know, when you kind of look at it, you can tell it started off as an old broom handle. And I took that thick Lexan, got a, glued a few pieces together and I was able to carve it down. So that point is made out of that same Lexan. So it's pretty durable. So if I bump it or hit it, or while I'm kind of washing it, I'm not gonna break that tip off. Then I come to the side, I got the, old style little bell and I got a little custom with the windshield you know, put the flames on there that's also made out of that quarter inch select sand so you can hit it bang it all you want drive it around doesn't break doesn't crack and then I also had this thing has pretty much all the bells and whistles minus a working pump I'm gonna turn some of the, the lights on for you As you can see, I got headlights, front flashers, I got the bubblegum style, you know, rotator beacon on top, some alley lights, which actually I kind of use those around the yard if I'm working on something. It makes for a great flashlight. And then I got the tail lights slash flashers in the back. And then the all important part that you must have, we have a Q. And we have the regular siren. Give another view. Thanks for watching.